Praise God, and welcome to another House of Prayer Ministry. I'm Pastor Harris, coming from the state of Michigan. You ever been in a place in your life when you're like, Lord, help me to just get it right. Lord, help me to get it right. I'm tired of doing things my way because every time I try it my way, it seems like it falls with the bottom in the hole and I'm down on the ground and I'm at a deeper pit than I started off. Lord, help me to get it right. Lord, help me to understand that it's not about the things that I want to do, but it's about your will for my life. Lord, help me to get it right. Help me to focus on pleasing you and not my flesh. Lord, help me to get it right. Lord, when I desire to do the things that my flesh want me to do, help me to get it right. Help me to say no to flesh and help me to say yes to your way and yes to your will. How can I do that, God? By praying and meditating, by studying and fasting, by staying in the word of God. Get a close, intimate relationship with God. Every day is a new day where God gives us the opportunity to say, Lord, help me to get it right. I'm down here, Lord, and I'm trying to get it right, and I'm struggling. And it seems like that every time I try to do it this way or that way, it's not working. When I ask somebody how to help me and they help me, Lord, once they leave, it's like I forget, and I'm going back into the pit deeper and deeper. God, so the reason that's happening is because you haven't asked me. Ask me how to do it. I am the roadmap to success. Many people ask, well, how did you uh, do this and how did you do that? The first thing I tell them is to God be the glory, first of all. And then next, I had to ask God. Because just because it works for me doesn't mean that it's going to work for you. Seek God in all that you say and do. Before you go out into the world and start doing the things you want to do, ask God, Lord, is this where I should be at? Because no doubt, trials and tribulations are going to ha come and they're going to happen. But one of the greatest things about having trials and tribulations when you're a servant of God is that you know that God is there. The storm maker is there and that you're in that storm because it's there to make you better and not bitter. You're in that storm because it's not something that you've done so badly, but it's something that God wants to give you. Something that God is doing inside of you. He's pulling and purging you so you can get the gifts that God has for you. Greater, greater in he that is in me than he that is in the world. You know, and you have to realize and understand that greater is he that is in me. Same with the authority. Greater is he that is greater is he that yeah, greater is God that's in me than he that is in the world. So if I stop and I ask the question, God help me to get it right. What do I need to do, Lord? Trust and believe God will answer you. But sometimes we don't want to ask that because we be thinking to ourselves, oh Lord, I'm scared to ask God what is it that I'm doing wrong because I know He's gonna tell me the right answer. And we comfortable. We like being in that messy situation. We like dealing with that messy people and those messy um, areas that we like going in. But we say we don't like the mess. If you don't like the mess, dust yourself off in 2019 and don't allow that sicky and nasty situation to drag you through the mud where you don't grow any. You know, because you're too busy trying to wade in the mud. You Walking and running in mud, you don't go no farther. You don't get anywhere. Stop and trust God. God can deliver you out of that messy situation. God can deliver you out of that muddy situation. And he'll plant your feet on solid ground. He'll take you to another level where you should be. The anointing will be greater in your life than you've ever expected it to be. If you trust and believe God, Lord, help me to get it right. Lord, order my steps. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Talk to God. Let him know. Lord, you said no weapon formed against me shall prosper. You said I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. You said, Lord, I'm a lender and not a bar. And God said, I am. I did say those things. And those things are true. But what I need you to do is surrender. I need you to surrender all. Let me lead and guide you. Let me lead and guide you in all areas of your life. And I guarantee you that there's nothing that God won't withhold from you. God will hold. He won't hold nothing from you. Everything you ask and seek God for, he'll open the door and allow you to have it. God bless you. Pastor Harris out of the state of Michigan. Happy holidays to you. God bless those uh, listeners and viewers out of all across the world. Apostle John, God bless you, sir.